Alrighty, welcome back everybody to the full actual podcast. Unfortunately, Marty and Michael have sadly passed away in a tragic car accident just yesterday, so I will be taking over the podcast as of now. Oh, here they are. Um, He's fucking around, man. He's fucking joking, man. Fucking idiots. Oi. They're dumb cunts, man. They're fucking <laughs> full of leave that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, everyone. Episode number 21, Marty and Michael. We didn't die in a car accident. We did not die. This he... is the second one for the night. We already recorded one. So, the um, today's date is the 16th of the 7th, 2019. Still. Still that date. No, it's a week later. Yeah, they listen to it a week later, but we're recording <clears> the same night. So, it's still the first day that the first ever atomic bomb went off. It's still the first day. No, that... Matt, why is it? It's got to be the next week. Like... listening. You? you fucking dumb fucking fuckwit. It's the fucking date. It's already the 16th today. We don't do them on the release date. We do them on the recording date. Really? No, I thought we changed that. We've got to change that so it's more organic fingers. for the people. It's more fingers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, we don't have much of a shit talk to begin with. Except um, Jackson was showing us f- video footage of him sprinting and he's quite confident that he's going to do very well in the upcoming influencer races, Challenger, Challenger Games in LA. On Set the to twi- air on 27th. 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 What was your time? 100 meter sprint? 10.9. 10.9 seconds. Isn't that like, isn't the record like 9.9? The record. <laughs> so your prediction is you get top three in 100 meter sprint. 100% confident that he will get top three in the Challenger Games. And, all right, on to segment two this week, and it's been renamed Black Cat Time. And basically, this is just where we answer fan questions. Woo! <laughs> fan questions, as your fucking phone. Oh, yeah. Open your fucking phone. Let's read some fucking fan questions. All right, this one's from Corey. Corey, 0609. Fuck yeah, Corey. That's Corey with a K. Corey with a K. If the world was ending and you had 15 minutes left to live, what would you do Have a and wank? why? Oh, it depends who I was with. Mm. F- if 15 like minutes right now, now, I would. I've got two, three bottles of wine. I would down all the alcohol I could. Oh fuck! It wouldn't even yeah, hit me in that hit. 15 minutes. Yeah, I'd share. I'd have one last gl- glass of wine with my fine friends. I'd just go crazy. I'd oh, just... I'd, I'd break windows. I'd destroy a lot of shit. <laughs> but I'd rip. Yeah, I'd start by ripping the aircon system down. I'd smash all the windows I could. Kick as many holes in the door. I'd run over to the neighbor's place and just grab her tits and just shake them. I'd just scare the <laughs> shit out of her. Just scare the absolute fuck out of her for the last 15 minutes. I so- go out with a social experiment. Give myself a bit of a chuckle. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd just like fall, like belly flop off the second story onto the ground in front of you guys to make you laugh. I'd break your fingers. <laughs> I'd snap one of my <laughs> own fingers. Yeah, it wouldn't matter. You could just literally just fucking do what you wanted. I hope that happens. Yeah. No, 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 no. I don't hope that happens, but that's what we would do. We would go crazy. We would destroy everything and everyone around us. No, I'd get one, one last game. Could. One last game of Crash Team Racing in. No, I wouldn't let you. I'd, I'd grab that fucking TV and <laughs> slam it against the wall. You would, yeah, you would. I'd rip, I'd rip all my hair out. <laughs> Dude, I would love watching that. Oh, man. Yeah, I, there wouldn't be a second where I was quite... I'd be screaming the entire time. Next question is from no one. From someone, but we can't read the name because it's blocked out on the screenshot. Sorry. Good question, though. Now, this is... I guess this is for the little kids and shit. Why is Fortnite so popular? I've, we've only ever watched Michael play it, and I guess it's popular because... It's like really interactive with all the people on the internet. You can just play each other. You can play friends online and that's really f- cool and really fun. And it's like fun to like have rankings and like try and get to like number one and be the last one standing. Uh, the rules are really fun. It's, <coughs> it's like quite funny. It's a funny little game. <laughs> it's like dancing and shit. I love that. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> so close to hitting you. Yuck. <laughs> Yeah, I think like the whole, once you die and you that's it, it's gone. That makes it more exciting because then your life is so much more like, it's not yeah, like Call of Duty, you die, get respawned, keep playing. It's funner because you die and if you win, 
a match in Fortnite, it's like fun. Such glory. Yeah, there's glory in it. Such glory. You were the one that only won that match. Out of a hundred little fuckers, you're the only fucking dog you left didn't, standing. You didn't die once. No. And, yeah, and if you die first, you have to wait like 15 minutes to play again. No, I think... You, oh, I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah, I think... All right, next uh, question is from YWW29488. He has asked, how old is Bosley? Great question, Bosley is six years old or 72 months or oh, he's just over 72 months he's 74 months old uh six years old that makes him roughly oh, 55 in human years i mean dog years and um his life expectancy for a dog his size is roughly nine to ten years old so we've got a good another three four years out of the fire <laughs> and let me tell you let me tell you he's 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 getting better with age. He gets walked <laughs> every day. I reckon he'll live to till 20. well longer. I reckon it'll be like 15, 16. Yeah, it'll be close between Michael and Bosley who goes first. Oh, fuck. That's so true. All right, next oh, question. Done it again. Done, done it again. again. We can't... just get so many messages that when you screenshot something, another fucking notification comes down saying you got a new message. He should have seen that though. He should have seen that and then known to wait for that to go away. And it's constant shot. sometimes. He, he should have known. So now this person is down on a, on a, on a shout out. On a yeah. shout out. That's Sorry. and that's like the best thing ever. That's like more valuable than gold. <laughs> oh, what? Well, it is. It's just a shout out. <laughs> shout outs are valuable. <laughs> you can't put a price on shout outs. Yeah, content shout is not so key at all. Good. I fucking love shout outs. Fuck, fuck yeah, fuck content. Just get people to shout you out, and mm. apparently you're fucking you're set. At what age did you first get your period? I was about. I, remember, I still remember exactly when I got it. I was in the laundromat with my mum. I was about fourteen years old. She perfect had, spot to get it. You can just put the shit straight well, in the. Well, fucking, no, it was, it was funny you say that. No, actually, because all of my clothes were getting washed at the time. She had just braided my hair, and I had these really well done cornrows rolling down my back um, and I was wearing like just laundry clothes. I just had this little crop top on and like a little skirt. Yeah, and I was 14 and um, I just remember I heard a pop and um, blood just started gushing down my legs and um, yeah, one of my testicles had exploded, which is a male period. period. Yeah, yeah, I was late. I was like 24. Mm, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> we were out and about. Michael was talking to a really overweight Indonesian lady. He had had like 15 beers and I just, he was sitting at a table and I heard the pop and uh, Michael saw it, but pretended not to. Yeah, like, I was embarrassed. I was very embarrassed. He didn't want her to know, but it's a very normal thing. Guys get their period all the time. You shouldn't have been embarrassed, but I guess he's such a late bloomer. It is quite embarrassing, but yeah, he tried to hide it. Um, and uh, yeah, she, long story short, he... Um, he filled her with his seed. So, for for those wondering if you can fuck when you're on your period, males, yes. Yes, you can. There's yeah. just a lot of blood mixed in with your jizz. All right. Next question is from Ginger underscore Z underscore Ninja. I swear they fucking said a question before. Good on them. They know their questions. Oh, this one's good. What are your thoughts on Isaac Butterfield? Like, he's made a hate video on me. Yeah, early days, but everyone hated us when we first started. Everyone hates you when you're trying something new and you're not successful yet. Everyone <clears> hated <throat> us. And fair enough, Michael's behavior in the early videos was very, very disgusting. Isaac Butterfield made a hate video on us because Michael, in one video, ripped a toenail off. And then in the next video, ate some dog shit and actually ate dog shit. And, uh, and then Isaac Butterfield, you know, he's just one of the hater guys. He's like, oh, these guys trying to copy Jackson and Shami, stuff like that. I've watched, I watched his vids the other day on, he hates cyclists, he yeah. hates feminists, and he hates... Vegans. Vegans, yeah. I don't, like, oh man, freedom of speech, man. He's fucking, he says some funny oh, shit. He has, yeah, since since that, he, since that day, he's fucking, he's a funny guy and he's he says, I, I agree with a lot of what he says. So, um, yeah, don't mind the old Butterfields. Yeah, he's a good, good, a good dude doing his fucking comedian thing. He got in a lot of trouble. And going very well. He's bloody gun, real good guns. Yeah, check him out. All right, next question's from Sasha. Sasha. 2791. Sasha. Where'd you guys grow up? Canberra. In primary school, Brisbane in high school. I've been a bit all over the oh. shop. Ooh, Michael's injured. Keep going. Could be that bone cancer trickling down your arm. I was uh, born in Germany, right? Uh, three years old. <clears throat> uh, parents just plucked, 
plucked me up. Little German boy flew to Australia in a little fucking country town, New South Wales. I don't even know what it's called. Okay. And we live on a little farm there. And then we moved around, a little farm, a little farm here, a little farm there. And moved to Clifton, a little Clifton, a little country town near Toowoomba, Queensland, in a Queensland. A little Clifton there, and about a thousand people there. Um, primary school there, right? Uh, <laughs> And uh, shortly after that, uh, Clifton uh, moved to Toowoomba, early child, early uh, high school, so Toowoomba, uh, was, uh, inland uh, Queensland, uh, a bit bigger, 100,000 people live there, so in Toowoomba, uh, Toowoomba there, um, eight, eight, nine, ten, uh, Toowoomba, right, uh, after that, uh, up to fucking Brizzy, right, played tennis, uh, high school there, Kelvin Grove, right. Uh, year 11, 12, uh, come on, so I'm in Brisbane about, hmm, what's that, hmm, 2005, about 2005, I've been here about 14 years, so yeah, going on, half your life you've been in Brisbane, going on 14 Same. years, ah, I've been here since that scare you finally for once that got you with the bloody headphones, yeah, I've been here for my half, in Brisbane half my life as well, now, uh, I don't want to panic, but, um, we don't have a run sheet in front of us, <laughs> But I think the next segment has been renamed. I remember Matt telling me beforehand and he uh, wanted to call it something new and exciting. He wanted to call it FAR, F-A-R-R-R. And basically, this is a segment where we just re tell a story. We just tell a story, something crazy that's happened to us in our life. Could, like just something wild, you know, like back in our like heydays when we Dude, went this out is all not, the time. We can't be proud of this one. No, no, I love this story. This one is from the heart. This one is it's a story of just survival. It's a story of just bringing people together and just everyone just helping each other out. <laughs> you know what I mean, though. Yeah, Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, it's a yeah. story about like everyone just coming together and everyone's in it for the right reasons and everyone's just without wanting anything in return, right? Everyone's just helping each other and doing it for the right reasons. Don't you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Don't positive. you fucking think? It's a positive message. This is a story how we used to go around to parties and just fucking destroy houses. We used to go around when we were fucking like 18 to probably early 20s and just fucking destroy the houses that we were partying at. We had, yeah, they were called destruction tours. Oh, man. We had a lot of fucked up friends. We were very chaotic. We, we was, were chaos. So, we'll, we'll, give you, we'll give you some examples, right? So, and even before 18, this is like when we started More drinking. High, yeah, high school. So, we, we you know, someone would have a house party, <clears throat> a friend of a friend usually, or Bad even sometimes idea. friends. Bad even, idea. Even sometimes friends that we knew, people we knew would have parties and we would go there and when we started drinking, we'd get so fucking destructive because we thought it was hilarious. We would do some fucked up shit. I remember going through a room once and just breaking every fucking thing I could in the room, all through the drawers, snapping shit. I remember. And like, then it's just like putting it back in and they never knew it was me. We had a friend, Matthew Yo from Toowoomba, oh. and he would, he would often host these house parties in high school without consent. He, he said, no, no one's coming over. No one's coming over tonight. No one is partying. And we would just say, yes, we are. And we would, we'd a whole bunch of us would just show up at his house, and then we would drink in the memory his memorabilia room, like his dad's prized mem sporting memorabilia everywhere, and we would fucking fuck that place up bad. We've said this previously about this house before. This is where they did initiation for me when I was like sixteen. Piss everywhere. I was. We like, had an egg fight in that pool room. Yeah, an egg fight in the pool room, and there's just eggs everywhere. And no one would ever piss in the toilet. And then, and then ever. that's that's when the worst. The worst habit started in Yo's house, and I don't even know if he knows this, but we used to we get get everyone would be like half asleep, usually be one of the last ones awake. We'd open his family fridge, and starting at the top level, we'd start pissing and just piss through his entire fridge, fill it with piss, and we take it in turns. We just fucking drench everything in urine in the fridge. And then we'd go to bed thinking it was hilarious. And then in the morning, the parents were like, oh, do you guys want breakfast? <laughs> went, no, no, thank you. No, we don't want to touch your fucking food. It's got a piss on it. And we'd sit there fighting back laughter, watching the family and our fellow friends eat our piss we were, saturated food. We were hungry too. And man, Yo's parents were so angry always the next day. But we always knew the one thing to fix them 
all I would do is write a really lovely apology letter and give it to them and then they'd be fine. But all I ever wanted was an apology. When we moved houses and he had a party at his new house and they had this like really expensive new bar where it was like, it was fine finished wood and Marty just couldn't fucking find a bottle opener. So he just starts hacking into the side of the bar, chipping away at it, trying to get this bottle cap off his bottle. And he, by the end of the night, all the edges of the bar was, it was just chipped away and fucked. Yeah, we fucked so do, many houses Do up. you remember that night when everyone went to bed and like I accidentally threw the glass really hard, but then let go and it shattered everywhere. Yeah. We thought we'd work the house up. Yeah, and then we just left it and went to bed quickly. <laughs> yeah, this is a thousand shards of glass all over the bar, like not the bathroom, the living room floor. Friends with pools, bad idea. Oh. We would fill the pool with just furniture. Dude, one of my my house had a pool, and they used to piss it. Like you'd piss, like instead of going to the toilet, you just piss in the pool. Fair enough, that's fine. But they, Marty and Henry, another friend would pop their beer bottles like in the, the lids. I'd, I'd just find them on the ground. Not and even throw mine, them in the throw pool. them in the pool. Next minute, the next day, the clean, the fucking, what do you call them? Creepy, Creepy crawly, crawly has sucked up all the beer bottle caps and that cost my family $2,000 to buy a new Creepy Crawly. We did that just for a cheek la- <laughs> cheeky little laugh. But it got really bad. Yeah, one, one story that's really sticks this- out in my mind. <sighs> This is a house party in, in uh, near a university. We were a big group of friends. I can't even remember all the boys that were there, but there was a big group of us. So, And whenever there's a big group of us, we all want to you know, show off to each other and just really just take it to the next level. So it started in a room. We were smashing mirrors. I can't remember. It was like there was a couple of mirrors there that just got shattered. And before long, we didn't even know the person having the party. It was just a friend of a friend, like 100 people there. And anyway, long story short, we were asked to leave pretty uh, pretty quickly. So we this this property is at the bottom of this fucking steep hill, like a forty five degree angle hill, and it's pitch black. It's so dark. So you walk up like a hundred meters, well not a hundred, maybe fifty meters up a hill, really steep incline, and that's when you get to the street. And on the street was a big industrial size bin on wheels. <laughs> And everyone's partying at the property underneath and it's pitch black. So they can't see us at the top and we, we can barely see them. We can just see some light and we can just hear the music and hear everyone talking and laughing. And then all of us, we just get the bin and just fucking launch it down the hill. And then like, and then we just leg it. We don't stop to watch the carnage or hear anything. We just fucking run. And as we're running away, pissing ourselves laughing, we hear, because they would have heard the bin coming, but not been able to see it because it's pitch black. His bin just flying down this hill, picking up speed. And then we hear this fucking, like people screaming, chicks screaming their fucking heads off. Hear this huge bang explosion and we were fucking like, we were already like a hundred meters down the road and we did not turn around to see the damage. We Someone could have died. We could have fucking killed someone. I hope we just didn't admit to like fucking... Dude, imagine if they couldn't find and the they people the that podcast. got hit by a bin like 12 years ago. If anyone, if anyone was hit by that bin, this is a joke. It's not a real story. But to everyone else listening, yeah, I know. Fucking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> but our our fucking our ways have changed since we don't we don't do science it. now. It's all science. We just work hard. And also, we don't go. To, I think if we went to a party and we didn't know the person, then we'd probably still maybe be inclined to be a bit destructive. But now, all the house parties we go to are like close friends. You know. You don't really want to fuck with your close friends, right? Yeah. So, yeah, that's that's just something, a stage that we went through. We learned from it. We're not saying go out and act like this. We're saying we've done it. So, so learn laugh, from it. Laugh at our story. Now you don't have to do it. Yeah. Unless so you we're teaching. To. We're teaching. And if, uh, yeah, kids don't do it. Only if you're above 18, as I always say. Fuck, man. That is a fuck story to tell the world. That's more fucked. I feel more guilty at that than telling the world that I ate my own shit. Oh, this segment's called Kale. And in this Kale segment, we basically just read news headlines and comment on them. Matthew Brown from Wholesome comes up with our news, with our, with our segment names. So if you have any suggestions for segment names, <coughs> email Wholesome. Or comment 
down below just so we build our comments up in Marty and Michael Fully Actual because that's important YouTube, engagement. Forgot about that YouTube channel. Man, if you are fucking watching from the YouTube, don't forget to subscribe at the top. Push that fucking bell. Push that bell button. Put a bell button. Is that how you say it? Put that bell button in there. Push notifications. Push notifications. Push notifications C- on. Communications. Don't forget to drop a fucking comment in the... At the bottom bit, and then subscribe to the YouTube channel. The best thing in the world coming at you live out of Brisbane. I just thought of a new thing we should do in each podcast. Ask them a question, and then they'll comment it below, and then we'll mention next week the we'll best read answer. out the answers. Holy, Holy shit. shit! What's the question? Everyone, have you ever been fucked harder than you have wanted? Oh, I guess okay. That's all right. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. that's fair. Really? I don't know. Maybe we can think of something better. What's your name? And then we'll pick the best name. Fuck, we've got to think of more questions. Next week, we'll think of a better question. But what's your name? And underneath, if you feel like it, have you ever been fucked harder than you wanted? I've got a question. The question is, what's a good question? And then next week, we we'll read, say the we'll best question. The, and that will be the question. Oh, my God. God fuck it, hell it is. That's shit. Science to the max. Holy shit. God, I'm hard. Man, first story is from Metro News, and they have said, Rufa ends up in hospital after swallowing one uh, uh, one pound coin in Bizarre Party Trick. What Dude, a fucking I've, loser. D- I've done this. What a fucking loser. Dude, I've done a five cent coin, what a and I was fine. St- what a Remember stu- at school, year 12? Who the fuck gets a fucking dollar coin stuck in their fucking throat, you pussy bitch? Just swallow it. Just get it down. All right, the next story is from Support of the Guardian. It's from The Guardian. Australian man screaming at Spider, why don't you die, triggers full police response. <laughs> A guy <laughs> screaming at his spider, wanting it to die. And the neighbours must have heard and been like, fuck, he's killing someone. <laughs> what the fucking neighbours here, here. So be careful what you scream at things that you're killing. Because you don't know who's listening. Well, just be oh. careful what you scream. Our poor fucking neighbours, man. A, a police, a, co- a car just drove into our car park. I'm now worried that it's the police because the f- fat neighbour heard me saying how to shake her tits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, from the previous podcast. <laughs> anyway, hopefully that's not a cop. Oh, no, it's Fiona. We're all good. Imagine if she came in with a badge and she was undercover. Oh, we'd be screwed. Ooh. I would be <gasps> mainly. Next story is from two. Florida man punches woman at Publix because she gave him the middle finger. A Cape Coral man (laughs) and retired police officer was arrested after he admitted to punching a woman. Oh my god. Oh my god. I wonder. Apparently, it's legal now to flip off cops. That's good that they changed that law. You shouldn't ever punch anyone unless they, of course, yeah, give you the middle finger. So (laughs) we're not sexist. I'll fucking hit any cunt steps up to me, cunt. Any fucking dog comes in here, he fucking looking for fucking trouble. Come on, cunt. Knock on my fucking door, dog. I'll fucking drop you, man, woman, child, fucking camel, cunt. Cow. Fucking rock up, cunt. Rock up. Come on, bring your fucking boys around. I'll fucking knock that door on and fucking knock you your clean out, bro. <laughs> Holy shit. And that is the end of uh, the, the news. <laughs> that segment. News. Um, uh, this one is a, a segment. Uh, well, let me read the title first. And this is basically just a prank call. And for this week's prank call, I'm going to pretend to have a severe stutter. Oh, you can't do that. There are people in the world who have stutters. Yes, that's true. We're not making fun of them. We're just pretending to be one while ordering food. If you laugh, that's on you, man. If you get offended because you know someone with a stutter, just fucking relax. It's just a fucking joke. I'm not taking it so personally. If I had a stutter, I'd be totally fine. People making fun of me. That's fucking... If I said, hey, Carl from next door has a stutter, I'm going to pretend to be Carl. That's offensive because I'm personally attacking someone. I am just making a generalization about stutters themselves. I've got no one in mind. I'm not thinking of one person while I do this. I don't know anyone with a stutter. So fucking calm down, all right? I'm going to pretend to have a stutter. It's you're good at it. Really, really good, good at, at it. it. Um, let's not call Domino's because we've just called them. We'll do Pizza Hut. Kali Kali. My <laughs> Hello. Hi. How can I help you? Uh, hello. Can I please p- p- 
pl- place a pickup order, please? Yeah, I was like... C- 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 can I get f- four four pizzas, please? Can c- for the f- for the first one, can I can I just get a m- 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 bar- barbecue meat barbecue meat lovers, please? Yeah. On a um, cl- classic classic crust there. Yeah. For, 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 for the second pizza, can I can I please get a, a Hawaii, Hawaiian pizza, please? And that one's on the th- 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 thick crust, please. So Hawaiian on thick crust? Yes. Look, and f- f- for th- for the third page, can but can I can I just get a bar- barbecue chicken, please? Yes. What what sides what sides do you have? Sides. Can I get the garlic bread, please? One garlic bread, yeah. Two garlic breads, please. For the drink, drink, can I get a... Pepsi, please. Uh, yeah. For for the for the for, 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 yes for, for the for the but me, but, but for the meat lovers, c- yeah. can can I c- 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 can I can I can I can I swirl of Holland. Hollandaise sauce, please. Alright, for barbecue meat lovers, so you want a Hollandaise really on the top, is it? Yes. Anything else? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Dessert? Uh, yeah, for dessert, what would you want? You want Dude, I wish you kept the beat going. He's become a rapper at the end. <laughs> I couldn't stop laughing. Oh, dude, dude. I was hoping you'd start doing like... <laughs> like real big out there. Yeah, damn it. Oh, my God, dude. We'll have to do that one again. I could have gone... Up and start the whole order. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Well, at least when we sort of start to run out of disabilities <laughs> to do, we can just re like go yeah, fucking we'll, through we'll, them again. I just get nervous towards the end because I don't want them to actually process the order. You know? Oh fuck them, dude! They make millions. I don't. I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. No, we're talking about the company, not the person. Yeah, I, I just don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. I don't want to have to have them lose their money. I don't, I'm not about that. You yeah, know? you'd never ever hurt anyone's feelings. I'm not about that because we're the, the best. best. We're, we're the best. best. We are the best. We're the best. We're the best. 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 Best.